We have auto sequence start. Oxygen. The engine's igniting, the launch command issued. Again, the engines will fire, ramping up towards flight speed. And liftoff. Peggy Whitson, Oleg Novitsky, and Tomas Pesquet rocketing towards the International Space Station. The rocket lighting up the night sky there in Baikonur. All initial performance calls indicate everything nominal or normal. First stage delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust through those four boosters in the single core engine. First stage measuring 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It's going to burn liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Everything continuing to look steady, straight as an arrow for the Soyuz as it continues to rocket off again. Launched right on time at 2.20 p.m. Central, 3.20 p.m. Eastern. Everything's fine on board. Spherical tank pressure is nominal. We copy. Over 70 seconds, one minute, 10 seconds into the flight velocity of the Soyuz, now over 1,100 miles per hour. 80 seconds into flight. Control and motion control systems are working nominally. Everything's fine on board. We copy. Thrusters of the second stage are working nominally. Performance calls with the booster continuing to look great. So he's continuing to fly straight and true. And there you see the four strap-ons breaking away in the night sky. There, uh, the first four stage, uh, the first stage boosters being jettisoned. On the, um, on the second video camera in the descent. Getting a wave there from NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson making her third journey to the International Space Station. Here you five by five. Bobby. Seated just next to Russian cosmonaut Oleg Novitsky. And seeing the telltale jolt there, that means the third stage has cut off and separated. The confirmation coming from the folks in uh, Mission Control Moscow, third stage has separated successfully. That single liquid-fueled engine shutting down and dropping it away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles.